Hey guys! Hey guys! We are back with another Sci-Fi Friday review, this time reviewing the Sci-Fi original series Killjoys, Season 2, Episode 5, titled Meet the Parents. If you haven't seen it yet and you want to avoid any spoilers, skip this video and come back later because everything we say from this point forward is going to be a spoiler. Okay, I really enjoyed this episode. One of the things uh, that really I enjoyed that I didn't expect to in this episode is they did the body switch trope, which is a, a very kind of stereotypical trope now in science fiction by this point. But they yeah. did it in this episode, and they did it really, really well. Yeah. And w when Klein and Dav switched bodies, I was like, oh, God. And then it was really good, and it caught me off guard. It was so good. Yeah, I, this whole episode, oh my god, it was just incredible. Like, Killjoys this season has just been on a steady uphill climb. Oh. Every episode is just a little bit better than the one before it. Mm -hmm. And it's just doing so phenomenal right now. Absolutely best episode of the entire series yeah. this episode. This episode, episode was fantastic. Um, and I agree, like, the body switch thing, it's, it's hard to pull off. But, like, it worked because... Dab, when he goes into Klein's body, immediately tries to pretend he's Klein. But, like, as soon as he figures out, okay, he's not buying it, he, um, he was like, okay, yeah, I'm, this is actually yeah. Dab. It, this, this happened, but, um, but, and that's totally what Dab would do. He would try to fake his way through yeah. it until he figured out what was going on. Yeah. Whereas Klein is very no-nonsense and was just like, yeah. He didn't even attempt it. He was like, yeah, yeah I somehow switched bodies with yeah. Klein. Like, the, the, like the, the actor who plays Klein did a great job playing Dav. Yeah. And the actor who plays Dav did a fantastic job playing Klein. It was executed really, yeah, really well. Yeah, the and actors, oh my gosh, yeah, the actors did a great job. And it's a science fiction trope that really has, has been just done to death. And the fact that Killjoys did it and did it so well is super impressive. Yeah. So the title of this episode was Meet the Parents, and it was Meet the Parents all over the place. Johnny and Potter, they met Potter's parents. Klein and Fancy, they met Dav and Johnny's father. Yeah. I guess they're going to go try to find the mother next episode, presumably. Yeah, maybe. Um, but wow, Potter's parents. Yeah. It's, you know, her mom for almost the entire episode, I'm like, wow, what a bitch and she ended up being an okay person actually yeah it was kind of like no pun intended she was like an ice queen <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because it's like she has this outward persona of being a complete and utter bitch but in the end like in the end she did care about her family she yeah. did want to protect her family and she did end up protecting her family yeah. um but you just like couldn't tell prior. Well, what was really interesting was the interaction between Potter and her mom right before her mom died. Yeah. It was, you, you kind of, well, they, they did basically say it, that the reason Potter was exiled is because her father didn't want her to have to shoulder the responsibility of making these impossible decisions the way her mother has. And that's the reason she was exiled. It was her father's wishes, and her mother did it for him in order to effectively protect Potter. So it was really this kind of interesting dynamic where, you know, Potter's always been like her dad's favorite, and so she asks her dad to to talk her mom into letting her come back, and then the mom says no, and you're like, wow, what a bitch. Mm -hmm. But then the whole thing was like the dad trying to, it's like, oh my gosh, it was amazing. It was so well done. Yeah. And let's talk about this killer fog. Yeah. Yeah, like, how very Doctor Who. Yeah, it really was. It was awesome. Like, for us being Whovians, we were like, ooh, this is like a Doctor Who episode. This yeah, is awesome. The, the, the killer the, fog. The, the freezing fog where you touch it and you start to freeze. I'm like, wow, that's a very... Doctor Who kind of a yeah. thing to happen. By the end of the episode, to combat the fog, Potter's mom has died because she injected herself with the virus or yeah. whatever it is, and she died because she froze. And Potter's father has died because he sacrificed himself in order to save everyone else. So now Potter is the head of the family, which I don't really know how that works because they never like officially rescinded her 
exhala exhalation, is that a word? Her being exiled, that's never been like written down somewhere that she's no longer exiled. So I don't really know how they resolved that. Apparently it happened off screen. I'm just going to give them credit for it. <laughs> um, but now she is, you know, the head of the family and part of the, this, the big council, the big crushy council. And she's, Johnny has asked her to, to allow him to help her. Yeah. But she's like, well, okay, fine, but you can't tell Dav or Dutch anything. And then at the end of the episode, Dutch and, and Johnny have this moment where yeah, she's like... Yeah, like Dutch she's was like, genuinely terrified that she almost lost Johnny on this yeah. mission. And she just like, in a rare moment of extreme emotion, was kind of broke down a little bit on him like, you know, we're good, right? <laughs> yeah. And j just the fact that, you know, it's... No secrets between the two of them, but now Johnny is going to have to keep secrets from her. Yeah. Because Potter's requested him not to, and in order to protect everyone, he's going to have to keep secrets. So look for some tension to develop in the, the dynamic between Johnny and Dutch, which will be interesting because up until now, we're, we're, a, we're a season and a half through the, you know, into the series, and their relationship has been very amicable. Yeah, it's been the, very rock solid. Yeah. So something had to shake it up. Yeah, so it's going to be really interesting to, to see that going forward and see exactly how fractured that relationship becomes because I do feel like it's going to fracture pretty yeah. soon. Overall, I really loved this episode of Killjoys. It's Me absolutely too. my favorite episode of the entire series. If you watch our reviews of Killjoys, but you're not watching the show, seriously, watch the give show. the show yes. a shot. It is really it's good. Totally worth it's, it. You know, our our Killjoys reviews don't get a ton of views. But we keep reviewing it because the show is so good. And we're trying to get people to watch yes. it. I don't know if our little channel is going to have <laughs> that big of an effect on the viewer base. But we got to make sure Killjoys keeps going. Yes. Because it is amazing. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's it for this video. If you have anything to add, let us know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this review, and we really hope you did, be sure to tell us by dropping a like on it and subscribe for more reviews. And thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.